Hello again, everybody. This is Dan Clouser, and welcome back to the Journey of My Mother's Son podcast. Doing another monologue, jumping out of my comfort zone. Still not uh, completely comfortable with monologues, but I guess I am slowly getting there. And uh, today I wanted to talk about community and what it means to be part of a community. And I think a lot of times when we talk about the word community, we're, we really think of a, a physical place. Um, but one of the things that I've learned a lot over the past year, um, and even longer than that, really, I mean, since we've been traveling, is that, you know, true community can be made up of so many different components. And uh, I was actually just part of a virtual community that ended uh, for the past year. It was uh, part of Justin Shank's Growth Now community, um, which I had joined last June. And we just, this past week, had our final meeting of that community. And uh, it was amazing to me how close that group got in under a year's time. And I've had several of the people that I met through that community on my show as guests, uh, including Justin, um, prior to actually that community being a thing, I was on Justin's podcast. He was on my podcast. We've been friends for many years. He served on the uh, Big Vision Foundation board, still does actually, even though I'm no longer part of the organization. Um, But then had another four or five members of that community as guests on the show uh, because they're just so incredibly inspiring. And, um, you know, as I got to know them throughout different, uh, you know, different times and being able to spend time with them each week, um, I wanted to be able to share their stories. And, you know, this past Tuesday was, was uh, bittersweet, I think, for all of us in that community uh, because we hated the seed end. But yet I think we also were all incredibly grateful because we, know that the relationships that we've built throughout that community will not end, that we'll continue to cheer each other along and uh, have each other's backs and uh, continue to grow with each other. And I think that's, uh, that's very special. And, um, you know, I, I find it amazing that, you know, some of the people in that group, I haven't actually met personally. We've only met, through having weekly Zoom meetings, um, but yet we've still become very close. And uh, people who I absolutely consider my friends, even though I haven't, you know, physically met them face to face. I mean, some of the people in the group I have, um, you know, some of them I knew before being part of that community, and many I I didn't. But yet we, again, grew to be very close. And I, I find that, you know incredible. And even with like the RV community, I I say this a lot uh, on a lot of my my podcasts is that it's such an incredible community and something that Sandy and I absolutely feel blessed to be part of. And even though we don't see each other, it's not like a neighbor that we can walk out the door and see on a daily basis and say hi to and share thoughts with. Um, Some of those people in the RV community, we, we may only see a couple times a year, uh, but yet we get to follow each other's travels through social media. We stay connected through text messages and stuff like that. Um, but it's such an incredibly close and well-knit community. And you know, again, I think a lot of times when we think of the word community, we're thinking of a physical place, a neighborhood, uh, a town, a, a county, uh, whatever that may be. And, you know, Sandy and I were very, very involved in our old community in Berks County before we started traveling. But yet, I honestly never really felt that much a part of it. Um, I always kind of s- felt a little bit like an outsider, even though I'd lived there my entire life. Um, and that's what was so refreshing about being part of these communities, um, whether it was Justin's Growth Now community or the RV community, um, 
you know, just, you know, being around like-minded people, um, our volunteer friends, that community, um, it's just amazing. And, and the podcast community, um, I've met so many incredible people who I've had on the show or I've been on their show and we've then been able to connect in person throughout our travels. And, uh, again, it's, it's amazing. Uh, the bond that you can build with someone when you sit down and talk to them, um, for a 30 or 40 minute podcast and conversation that takes place before and after your recording, uh, and really understanding that, um, you're there to lift each other up. And again, it's something I've mentioned on many of my shows as I host, or even when I'm a guest on other shows, I talk about that community. And I think the biggest thing for all of us as human beings is to be able to find ourselves as part of a community. And, uh, Again, that's one of the things we, we've been blessed with that, you know, these communities that I've been part of and have been able to get to know people has been incredibly, um, you know, awesome for us. Um, and to, to meet people in person and get to know them and, and really spend time with them and know that there's no hidden agenda, um, I think is an, is incredibly um, refreshing. And I think it's something that's helped kind of restore my faith in humanity is being part of these communities that I've been able to be a part of over the past couple of years since we've been traveling. And, um, you know, I want to stress to everyone out there that uh, you should become involved in a community. Um, and again, however, however that community is defined for you, whether it's virtual community where you're getting together with a group of like-minded people um, on Zoom once a week or every other week or whatever the case is, um, you know, or a, a physical community within your, your neighborhood um, or your town or wherever you are. Um, because I think one of the things that we long for as human beings is connection and being able to connect with people and and find people who um, you can relate to and have those conversations and be able to be vulnerable and, um, you know, really let people in and, you know, get to know people in a deep, deep connection as opposed to just um, like a, a networking event where, you know, everybody out there is, you know, after you so that you can help their business or, or something of that matter, um, you know, find people who really deeply care about you and want to lift you up and they have no hidden agenda. It's simply about lifting each other up and, and really, truly um, being part of your community and being, you know, part of your tribe, so to speak. So uh, that's all I've got for this week is to really you know, stress the importance of being part of a community and getting out there and throwing yourself out there and being, being vulnerable. And, um, you know, for those out there listening, be sure to check out my other podcasts and blogs at journeymymotherson.com. Uh, Yuke's new book is out. It's available on Amazon. It's available, uh, signed copies on our website. Um, so we're excited about that. So be sure to check that out and, uh, pick up your copy today and uh, we'll uh, catch you next week with uh, the guest again.